Welcome everyone to the watch list, your virtual weekly TV guide right here in the Latin Nerds Network. Ready to go over all the shows, documentaries released on streaming over the past week. Give you our best recommendations or non-recommendations as the case may be. And of course, at the end of the show, letting you know what's dropping next week. So you too can create your very own watch list. Joining us as always to give his thoughts is the Senor Jaime, a.k.a. Chewy. What it is, what it was, what it shall be. What it shall be is fantasy drafting, baby. Let's do this. Upon us, the NFL is upon us. You know, Number one pick. Going or everybody's got hope. Best time of the year. It's, just so, so, it's like New Year's. Everyone's got a good hope for fresh starting into the first weekend like that. This sucks. Um, but what the? We're gonna live. We're gonna live in that first that that week of undefeatedness. You know, hope is not a strategy, dude. And let's see what happens. So, <laughs> so a couple of weeks. The season starts September six, right? I think so. Well, that um, week is September week 6th, Thursday, Thursday, whatever. Thursday, Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. We actually right. have Thursday oh, and right. Friday yes, games, so it's going to be exciting. And, and NFL's taking over. Fine with me. But until then, this stuff to watch, and we got a better week than last week. Last week was kind of weird, kind of very short. <laughs> not, not a whole lot. We got more stuff this week. Nothing worth really a feature discussion, so we'll do just a quick take section on, on some of these. And we got documentaries, films, and, and shows, and... A good mix of everything. Let's start with uh, a couple of movies that came out. One on Netflix, and what's incoming. This kind of a teenage debauchery, you know, American Pie for new generation, et cetera, et cetera. A bunch of, you know, four high school freshmen, you know, going away to, you know, trying to sneak into a party <laughs> so they can be the man, if you will. And one of them, once they get the girl, we've seen it a thousand times. We'll see very ready, heavy rated R. Chewy is on Netflix, so we know how this goes. We know, we know the pie chart. The ratio of good to bad on a lot bad on Netflix, but uh, is was this worthy of a peak? I think so. I think so. I think it's worthy. I thought I thought it was fun. Um, like I said, not trying to reinvent the wheel, just bring it into a relevant uh, generation. Um, a little over the top or something that the the uh, the valley kind of valley uh, teach. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm so, so, I think so it tried too hard funny, at times. Um, I just wasn't laughing. Like what I said about comedies, right? They gotta make me laugh. I don't. Everything else is irrelevant for the most part. I, it just didn't work for me. It's just not American Pie or you know Porky. Dude, you didn't, whatever. You didn't get off my lawn. Yeah, it just <laughs> it just didn't work. I don't know. I wasn't laughing. <laughs> the, the potential, but it just tried so hard. It didn't work for me. So I know that's kind of a mix. But even your even your endorsement is not ringing endorsement for it but you know i, I mean, think maybe, it, it, maybe for it, the, it, young kids maybe yeah. the younger kids that may enjoy this maybe. for netflix for netflix i mean yeah i mean actually right. every generation gets gets its american right uh, or it's or it's uh revenge of the nerds yeah, or, i get it porkies I mean, right i mean standard. Yeah, it's, just, it's standard you know high school you know you know it, it, course, the high school height we high get it so movie. whatever it is what it is but again yeah. it's on that favor yeah, it is what it is. The other one, I'm not sure if you saw this true, but The Killer on Peacock. Okay. Uh, this no, is uh, John Woo, no. who is, of course, a, you know, I know that he's always built up as a legendary John Woo. Let's not get crazy. He's John Woo, and it's cool. He's got a lot of lot of good films, you know, whatever. I see back in his Asian films early on, he transitioned to a lot of American stuff, which was hit and miss, but things like Face Off really work, you know. Uh, this one here starring uh, Omar mm. Sadd, of course, Lupin. This takes place in France, so it makes sense. And the girl from, I don't know, one of the girls from Game of Thrones, I forget her name. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah and, um, I don't know if you've seen her in that. Uh, she's got a few things here and there, right? Um, yeah, you know, this like John Woo, he, he, at a time, he knew how to do action. I think he's stuck in that time. He hasn't moved forward because action has changed a lot over the 90s and the early 2000s to where it is now. Right, presentation and style, and the hand to hand combat, and it's yeah. editing all that. And he's kind of so stuck in a time frame. It's not a bad movie, but it's kind of boring and dull for an action film. That's not exactly the way you want to start a conversation with that. Yeah. Like, right, what was the action? Yeah. Eh, whatever. And he has his doves. John yeah. always has his doves. That's his signature card, if you will. It just didn't quite work. Yeah, for every every one of his movies, that's, that's his thing. It always has doves. That, that that's uh, all his films. It's just how he is. Um, but you know, no 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 stranger here, so you get that. So, um, but yeah, it, it's not that good. It's kind of though the action's mediocre at best, and you know, it's one of those like assassins who didn't want to kill one target, and now she's trying to protect her and save her own life. But 
it doesn't work. So I, I was not a not a fan. Is I guess it's the reason why it's on Peacock, straight to Peacock and all that. Particularly with a name with John Woo, straight to Peacock. Mm-hmm. That's that normally wouldn't happen 10, 15 years ago. Put it to you that way. Um, documentaries. We got a, a few of them. Not a few. Like, well, we did get a few of them. One. The first one is mm-hmm. Chip Crazy on HBO uh, Max. This one here is a uh, docu series, recent one episode weekly about the, uh, I guess, individuals focusing on one, one, one woman in particular, but just overall in people's, I guess, attachments and love, uh, attachments to chimpanzees. And this, you know, and it's kind of strange mm-hmm. and odd, particularly one woman who loves them and takes care of them, but now she's fighting, you know, against Peter and whatever, because, you know, maybe she's not taking care of them the way she should be, and yada, yada, yada. Um, Chewy on the watch list. Yeah, that was interesting. Um, I think that there was like they had some comparisons to yeah. the Tiger King, right? Um, but that was that was more of a focus between sure. him and that lady in Florida, right? That didn't that they went. So it wasn't against Peter per se. But um, this is this is very interesting. Like I said, we only got one episode, but I was I was hooked uh, with the premise. And with the story, and you know, chimps are cute. Dude. I know they have the baby chimps. I mean, I guess <laughs> the only thing. There was a time, yeah, yeah, there was a time when like, there was a lot of shows with chimps, and it was funny and and and, and worthy. Yeah, obviously, it's, it's it's died down since then. Yeah, since then, that was a big thing. And it, actually, uh, there's a chimp on here who yeah, there, there's, there's, they talk about who was in a bunch of movies. Yeah, yeah a bunch star, of yeah. movies and cameos and yeah. greeting cards and stuff. So. Yeah, you know, but but yeah, chimps. You look at the baby chimps. They're so cute. They're, they're so human-like, right? Without without the human, you dressed up diaper. Or the one woman, yeah, one trainer had a, a baby girl, a human, and I guess adopted a chimp. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I think I think she was a trainer, but at one point she was breastfeeding both of them. It was very weird. That's kind of odd. And that was a little. That was a you little. Know, it was odd, but I mean that's the kind of whatever. you know extremes sure. that people go through with chimps, sure. as far as seeing them more and just. Yeah, animals. yeah, you love the Which animals, is fine. Right? This, I, I, I mean, is it any more stranger than... than no, no, than that's what I'm saying. It's kind of the same thing, right? You got, uh, people do a lot of weird things with the dogs. Just, and that. So yeah. I get it. I really do. But no, right, it's cool. It's interesting, right? Um, Bizarre, which is it's almost mm-hmm. like a train wreck you kind of want to watch. <laughs> you know, take it, play with the one lady and, yes, and you know, just yes, learning about yes. the chimps and what they can do and how they've been taken care of. Very cool. I, I'm the watch this. I enjoy this. And how dangerous they are because there have been several documented incidents where the older chimpanzees have either got off the rails or attacked the owners or like the one there was one guy yeah. who had his nose bit off right and he I looked at him and said what happened yeah. to him and they explained what happened to him um and so yeah the, the at the end of the day is. yeah i mean either because of captivity or, or whatever or just because of old age they yeah. can become dangerous right at some point you have to be careful and that's because they are strong they're not it's one thing where you're a cute little baby chicken. Oh, no, it's they, nothing yeah. where you're a full-grown yeah, I mean, male yeah, who exerted dominance and you're in your cage rip, all day. Take, rip yeah. your arm off if you want to. I mean, they're, they're that powerful. Um, but no, it's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. Like I said, it's a fascinating look into that world. Yeah. Um, good perspective. So mm-hmm. I'm enjoying that mm-hmm. for sure. The other ones is a long-running series on Netflix, yeah. Untold. This one uh, is releasing three episodes every week. One, one a week. Three more episodes. And it's kind of the Netflix just answer to 30 for 30. Focusing on a dark, sinister story or whatever, mm-hmm. some popular story related to sports. And this one, we got the the murder of Air McNair. Of course, uh, Steve McNair was a quarterback, MVP, Super Bowl, took his name to Super Bowl back in the day. He was one of the pioneers of the the modern quarterback, mm-hmm. the running dual threat kind of guy. Um, not one of them, not the only one, of course. Um, but yeah, the focus on not only a particular year, what beginning of his career, but then really the focus on because he was found dead after he retired, and the mystery behind that him and, and I guess a girlfriend was shot. And they were kind of an uh, investigation of what really happened, who we really did what, and what are the cases. So, interesting. This is a cool series. I've enjoyed this series a lot. This is no different. And this has always been a recommend for me. Chewy? Yeah, yeah, definitely. The only thing that I didn't like about this was I wish it was, they would have dealt go deeper into the alternate theory of what happened, right? And not just rehashing and kind of just gloss it over a little bit. They presented it at the end and, and that was, and I literally would be the last five minutes to talk about it and it was over. Like, wait, wait, that's the most. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah towards the end, like, oh, <laughs> I, I'm with you there. I'm with you in terms of this is yeah. episode. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like uh, come on, yeah. that's that's the meat and the potatoes of the show. You you gave me a uh, dessert and appetizer, but like uh, you know, sometimes you gotta, here. You know, you, um, you gotta diet. And so they there there's a guy who wrote a book about it, and and I they bring up some valid points. Or the guy who investigated bring up some valid points. I mean, there was this guy involved that that is not mentioned. He 
I used to his teeth about knowing people, about the gun, about all this stuff, and like, and about communicating. I'm like, wait a minute, there's there's some there's something yeah, fishy here. Right? The old, and, and talk about you know once the police they hone in a theory, they just do all their best to kind of just prove that theory right. Right, and exactly. And, and, like, the know, theory, you know what's going on and all that. Not to say, yeah, what happened didn't happen that way. It, it, it very well could have. No, well, like I said, well, you know. they didn't give us. Well, obviously, we didn't get details mm-hmm. into the investigation. Of what then determined that that she did it, or there was suicide? Like, was there gunpowder residue? Was the right. placement of the gun? Whatever, right? There was something that could happen. Maybe they did it. Maybe, maybe. They did, like I said, yeah. they just focus on theory. And that was, like I said, that was the case, right? Because this this guy's involvement, first he had a criminal background for one, okay? He owned the gun. He said he he, he sold mm-hmm. it. No, he really didn't sell it. He didn't know it. No, he didn't, he didn't really know it. And he's talking to this lady at, you know, at right before the time this happened. I'm like, okay, wait a minute. Now, you know, you know, you know what they say? You don't believe no, like, yeah, they... <laughs> so, like, you know, yeah. you start thinking. Wait a minute. What, what, what really happened? Why? Why? Why is the no one? And, and that's that and that's a good question. I think and maybe yeah, exactly. leaving it at that. Like, where they're like, okay, well, that's out. You're right. They could have explored it, but at least, at least they threw it out there for, for whatever that's worth, right? Um, yeah, but yeah, but like I said, I, I yeah. like the series, and I'll, I'll keep watching it. Yeah. And still, still, oh, still, yeah. Charles yeah. and Kevin, great yeah. series. They're, 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 they're good job with these on, yeah, with these on twelve ones. And and stuff, you can go back and watch a bunch of not all on there, obviously. Um, I'm going to get three more, but in a couple yeah, weeks, I'll yeah. get three more to that to that series. Well, two more, including two more, two more. Right, including one on Hope Solo and one on the Michigan, right. which is pretty TV recent. Yeah, the Hope Solo one. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. The last documentary I get docu series about six episodes again, staying with Netflix is White Earp and the Cowboy War. This one, of course, White Earp, the mm-hmm. legendary figure in the Wild West. You know, if you've ever heard of him, I, mean, I, mm-hmm. I don't know. I wonder how much of a legend he is now because so much time has passed. But I know when you and I grew up, we're closer, closer to that time. We had things like, you know, there was a movie about with this guy, uh, Costner, which I didn't like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, yeah not Costner. as well, um, obviously, which is great. No, no, Costner did a wider film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was he called Wider. Oh, you know, he, he was in that mode, like Dances of Wolves. Oh, he was in that kind of three hour movie mode, uh, which he kind of went back to. Um, yeah. Yeah. He still, like I say, he went he back to is. it. Uh, <laughs> but no, but it was also Tombstone, Kurt Russell, and, and you know, this is Val Kilmer. Fantastic. Uh, Freaking love them. Mel one. Kilmer, um, uh, Bill Paxton, the guy from Aliens, um, the late great Bill Paxton, Bill Paxton, uh, Michael Bean, yeah, yeah like great, and Michael Bean, yeah. well, and also the, the and Terminator, yeah. Aliens, and Terminator actually. Um, so I mean, that was uh, for its time for what it was. That's that was a, a, that was a really cool one, and, um, and I don't know why they're from the legend. Yeah, okay, yeah. The, the gunfight, okay, yeah, Corral, the, that kind of yeah. thing. So this one obviously gives you the true story, mm-hmm. and it's it, look, it's very good. I, I just. And I think it's actually even more interesting. What if there's more to I mean, obviously the movie. I was surprised how close the movie stuck to real life events as it did. I I knew it was obviously it's Hollywood. Yeah, this get real, yeah. right? But it's surprising some of the characters' names and what happened. The shootout kind of happened similar. Some of the other characters, Ike Clanton. Mm-hmm. You know, okay. And obviously, a lot of stuff we just could not do because it's a two hour movie. It's only so much you can do, right? Because there's a big trial in there. Mm-hmm. I don't remember mm-hmm. the Karen Carson did that night. I don't know. But the big trial what happened at the OK Corral and what happened afterwards, and then the involvement of JP Morgan mm-hmm. was obviously a, a huge figure during that time. Uh, with, uh, of course, in the time with the Industrial Revolution, you have you know, Wells Fargo in there. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, with, right, exactly. with the so real world, it was all tied in. The, in. Yeah, uh, the government yeah, getting involved. Mind. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of stuff. This There's is a lot of stuff going on, right? But it's, I found it fascinating. And I'm not big into the this dramatization slash documentary ones for the most part. This was actually pretty good because, I, like I said, I think it was just so reminded of Tombstone. It was like I was watching Tombstone. It was weird. It was like, oh, I just want to see what I got right, what I got wrong. It's fascinating. Doc Holliday and some parts are true, you know. Uh, but, but it's actually very cool. It's actually a, a fascinating story. It really is. And this is definitely on the watch. This is this is very good. Like Westerns and that, it's a cool story. True. Yeah. It is. Yeah, definitely. I agree. So, this I like is put on there for sure. Um, the only show that really came out, mm-hmm. this is the last one, is uh, Accidente. The Accident. This is on Netflix. It's a Spanish show, Mexican show. With the Colombians uh, headliner, of course. Just want to throw it out there. Uh, get a love to the Colombian brethren. Is it a Mexican show or is it a Colombian show? It seems to me there's a it's Colombian show, but I think it's. They say way and pinch. That's Mexican. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, yeah right, just by the yeah, language, yeah, you can yeah, tell, yeah, you know, yeah, what, you know, yeah. the, the, the dialects of where maybe, but it's. No, yeah, some Mexican. Okay, yeah, they're, they're not Mexican acts. Some, some are, some are. But yeah, but yeah, Spanish show, this one here. Uh, you know, basically, take, it's about the, this, this parents who there was an act of 
someone was hosting a, a kid party. It was like a bouncy house, and it w- wasn't tied properly. A, a mysterious gust of wind comes up, and it, and it drags the, the whole thing up in the air. Yeah. And a few kids die. One goes missing, and now they're dealing with the, the grief of losing, obviously, the kids. But, of course, the parents are looking somewhere to blame, and things kind of escalate. And I'm thinking, when I first started the show, and I, first thing I did, I saw 10 episodes. I'm like, God, 10 episodes of people grieving? I don't know if I really put up with this. I really don't. It, it's a lot. Uh, there's got to be more to the show because it's not a mystery. The accident, it's an accident. It's not like it's a, it's a murder what happened. I don't know. They kidnapped the kids. We know what happened from the get-go. And, and at first, I was, I almost turned it off for a second. I got to be honest with you. I started watching. When I saw the section, when the, thing, the thing's in the air, it looks so stupid. I'm like, really? Oh, my God. So ridiculous. But then you learn. I looked it up because the show mentions that this happens. And I'm like, this the shit doesn't happen. I looked it up. It does happen. It does happen. There's stories out there. I know, yeah, I know, but I'm not the just, show. the just, just saying that it happens. justify the ridiculousness of it all. But it happens, and no, I'm like, it's true. Yeah, I'm like, it's true. okay, so it kind of brought me back down, like, okay, fine, okay, I'll, I'll deal with it. Um, but yeah, first I'm like, okay, what are you going to do with the show? And you know what? I hate to say it, but I was actually kind of enjoying it, man. Uh, things really escalate, uh, a little over-dramatized, you know, very kind of soap opera-ish at times. But, you know, what some of the parents do, seeking vengeance against the wrong people. And people are, you know, the, the truth's not really what it seems to be. And people are covering up. And a lot of stuff is going on here. And I'm kind of into it, man. I'm like four in. I'm, I'm getting into it. It's a recommend. Yeah, obviously, it's it's in Spanish. And it's got the subtitles and all that. I'm sure you can have it dubbed. But, uh, you know, for what it is, not much better than I thought. And I'm actually liking it, too. Yeah, yeah, I agree, man. Like I said, uh, I mean, I, I, you know, it's one of my boxes. It's the, the Spanish style of thing that we allowed us to do that on Netflix. Not, not the 50 episode priority, but this sure. is the much shorter one, right? Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm yeah, enjoying it. Yeah, it's actually it, pretty good. Yeah. I just wanna, surprisingly, uh, I thought this one of the two episodes I'm going to be out. I, I got a feeling. That was wrong. So I'm 4 a.m. I'm, I'm okay. I'm dug in. <laughs> it's cool. Why not? So I enjoyed that show. So, that, you know, that's all there is for this week. Not a lot, but I, I do. I forgot to mention last week, but I did catch it before we go on to next week's stuff is um well two things real quick is one's actually kind of funny but the i saw a bunch of amc shows now on netflix yes they for the next yeah. year they, they made a deal so they brought in made for witches and they played the vampire yeah dark, played black Bad, dark winds creature i mean you name um, it yes yeah. yeah. so if you didn't have and so it's, it's an interesting deal right they're trying to build brand awareness it's, with it's the smart. shows because obviously not people AMC Plus, I don't I mean, know how popular I heard it, it was 12 now, the from, from 10 to 12, um, so good for them to our subscribers, so that's, <laughs> and I like AMC a lot. But, but AMC, you know, if you have, if you still subscribe to the camera, you can yeah. still get AMC and still watch it, so, but, you know, but, you know, only through first run, so, interesting strategy, good oh, yeah, to get okay, see, on I mean, definitely, if you have Gangs of London, London, absolutely, yeah, yeah Gangs here's of London, two seasons on there, Netflix yeah. and enjoy great, that, kind of a gangster action film, action show. Waiting for season. Is it going to be a season three? I don't know. I hope so. No maybe idea. this helps in garnering more attention to get more seasons, maybe. Um, but th- that one's a great. Mm-hmm. Gangs of London, great show. Dark Whims was a cool show. And the Vampire was a really good show. There's a lot of good stuff on there. A bunch of stuff, uh, you know, that we've seen that we've enjoyed at AMC. So mm-hmm. check uh, Netflix now has them. So you did check some of those out. Oh, and, and some more good news, right? I'm sure I didn't mention this today. So we have our end memoriam. Well, we need to do a, a, a celebration of life. Ted Lasso, a resurrection. Is that, Ted Lasso. Is that official? Season four. I don't. That's for, yes, yes, I saw a couple plays. Okay, you want to wait for an Apple Plus to say it. I've seen a couple plays. I heard. It's, it's I, I, I'm not drinking the Kool Aid yet, dude. I, I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't dude, know yet. Barbecue um, sauce, dude. Barbecue sauce. <laughs> I, I'm, well, <laughs> if it, well, okay. I'll, let me rephrase. It's coming. It make. It, I may just come back, but we don't know if Ted Lasso's character is coming back. So, uh, yes. so if he's not yeah, coming yeah, back, yeah, then that, it's not that Ted Lasso. Hold up, that was the that was the hold up. No, 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 that was the hold up. I mean, I know they've been talking about it for for since the start about doing a spin off, doing something, focusing on AMC Richard, whatever. And and the whole hold up, from what I heard, was that Je- you know Sudeikis hadn't signed on, so it's basically his choice. If they wanted to come back, they would do it. If they didn't want to come back, they weren't going to do it. And it looks like he, well, he, he signed, signed on, on then, to then call me and incredibly back. excited. Absolutely. This is like, this, like? <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's great. I mean, let me know. that's awesome. I love that. I love that show, of course. Uh, you should, who doesn't? It's so good. So that, okay. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, resurrection. Perfect of him back. I said, okay, good Where's stuff. The and the, the other, the other <laughs> funny tidbit. This is, I mean, everyone wants a taste of the streaming wars. I guess I don't know why, because it's not really a money maker for a lot of these companies. But oh, God. No, don't we have a new don't, don't. contestant. Come on down. A new hat thrown into the ring. That is, of course, the great uh, studio of Chick Fil A, announcing that they too will create. A streaming channel. That's right. Chick fil A. Chicken. Chicken. Eat more chicken <laughs> watch more streaming, apparently. Um, yeah, I'll say this. When I first heard that, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Ridiculous. But you think about it, it's actually a smart move. Because Chick fil A, I think they're doing a lot of family programming. That it's a Christian company. We know that. This is a mm-hmm. niche for that. And I see a lot of times with these movies that are just those kind of like. You know, Christian films that, but the but just, channel, but even the on, on the release, that they, they have a huge opening weekend. They drop off, but that they go in droves. So they, they oh, yeah, have yeah, an yeah. audience for this. So you know what? It may not be as stupid as you think. Obviously, we're probably not going to subscribe to it unless they're going to use some free chicken. You get a free chicken sandwich a week, eh, maybe. Uh, but yeah, okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but that, that, that was very fast. So I'm very curious of what that looks like eventually, but that is official. So that was kind of fascinating. Uh, but that being said, just real quick rundown next week is uh, some big shows coming out. We got City of God, of course, based off the Brazilian film uh, mm-hmm. coming out to, today, I think, or tomorrow. Or yeah. oh, today, I forget. What day is today? Yeah. Uh, today, there you go, tonight. Yeah. Uh, we got, of course, I'm super excited, Only Murders in the Building, season four. Very excited about yeah, that. Um, I want to see what yeah. Macaulay Culkin does. Um, got to eat <laughs> Rings of Power, which some people may be excited. I'm not, but I won't curious. And hopefully it gets better. I mean, I said it was, season one was fine. Um, yeah, up and down. Terminator Zero. Up and down. Um, uh, if it was real life, I would not be excited. But as an anime with Netflix, you have my curiosity. You know, the old famous uh, Monster Candy. You know, you had my interest, now you have your curiosity. Um, that looks very cool. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, Chaos, Jeff Goldblum mm-hmm. coming to Netflix. Kind of a, you know, he's playing mm-hmm. Zeus. You know, just a movie about the guys yeah. in the modern world, and et cetera, et cetera. It looks very interesting. And of course, we got Breathless and ER-ish kind of drama. Spanish show, I believe. I don't know. Maybe I'm not sure if it's Spanish. If, okay, uh, okay, okay, Spanish show. Uh, yes. Again, Breathless, that's on the 30th. So a lot of good stuff on there. We'll be back. Uh, she will be joining us here in, in live in studio, I guess. For lack of a better word, we'll go over some of these shows, of course. Let you know what's coming out mm-hmm. a couple weeks after that. September's coming. I'm sure there's some stuff that I'm going to be mm-hmm. hating and you will be loving. Uh, I'm talking mm-hmm. to you, Star Wars, uh, or Marvel, or both. Either way. Um, but yeah, that being said, uh, if you're new to us, again, this is the channel. You tune into us. You want to know what's on this, is what we're here for. Subscribe below. Do us a favor. Hit that notification bell, the like button, and we'll see you guys next week.